Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca and today I'm going to do this eye on this eye for you. I know we are not going to holiday parties and we are probably not even going to like family parties, but I am still getting festive with my makeup. I just figured if there's anyone else out there like me who wants to play and have fun, here is what I like to do. I'm gonna show you a couple techniques that might help because if you're like me, 48, some creepy eyelids, a little bit of hooded, a little bit of saggy skin, also kinda not into too, not like laborious, not like I'm not putting on tons of lashes and you know, but I want a little fun and sass. So we're gonna recreate this eye on this eye and it's kind of a cut crease, but not, not crazy. I know that this is not drugstore. It's not really frugal, but in honor of subscriber Jen, who sent me these as a gift, I'm using the Pat McGrath quads that have come out for holiday. She sent me them. I'm like, Oh my God, they're the Celestial Divinity Lux Quad. Yes, okay, so got all three. I'll give you a peek, how about that? So this one is called, actually, and I used all of them. Not every color, but like all three quads. This is Fleur Fantasia. Okay, can we just talk about, it is so pretty. Um, that got a little dirty from another color I dipped in. Um, but it's, um, oh, my nails are in, that'll be my next video. Frickin' do your nails, lady. <laughs> I, look at this, woo, woo. This shade, there's a little bit of a spray over. Well, you gotta just kinda work it, there we go. The first time I dipped my finger in it, I was like, that is like, what, where are you? I'm, I, I was, I was disappointed. So I'm actually, this is kind of an amazing shade right here because you look at this and you go, well, there's no transition shade, but actually this one is a good transition shade. Then the next one is Risqué Rose. Moira Rose. Okay, let's swatch this. Okay, yeah, right? <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, this is a good shade actually. Oh, oh, it is rich. Look at that brown. Okay, and then this rose shade. You guys, this is, I'm the worst swatcher in the world, so my apologies. Ooh, now then we have Interstellar Icon. <laughs> so if you guys watch Britt Clark, when she was streaming, she got these and she was just upset about the packaging. And that I get, I mean, she has every right to be, but either they fixed it. Oh no, it's got the sticker. She hated the sticker that it was crooked. Um, I am not as concerned about that. And you know me, I like like recyclable packaging. So, but to be fair, I'm not used to this kind of luxury, so I think it's nice. <laughs> okay, so what did I say this is called Interstellar Icon? Okay, let's just do a, a that, a that. Yeah, these feel rough because of the glitter, but not like, not bad, but just, you know, oh, whoa, whoa. I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite. It really is because, you know, they're not your every day. They're not like, oh, what am I going to wear this to Target? Actually, who cares? I am going to wear things to Target. I have been wearing things to Target. So this is the shade I put all over my lid. I am, and I want to pull it up pretty high. So, oof, somebody has to pluck their eyebrows. Um, so I am pulling this pretty high because I have a lot of surface area and I'm going to kind of, I, 
yeah, if you pull up the shadow above the crease, then you're kind of giving more dimension than just having it all down here. And then, you know, your skin just hangs down. And you wanna take a dark shade and take a very small detail brush. My personal favorite is like an eyeshadow angle brush and I'm gonna put it in this dark plum and I have already sort of, the way I'm doing it is instead of using liquid liner, I'm mapping out kind of a wing, kind of just where I want the emphasis of the shadow to go and I'm just kind of pulling it up. But the fact that it's shadow and not liquid liner, you have so much more room to modify, adjust, take a little eye makeup remover. And I learned this from Jamie Genevieve. She's so great. Actually, I think I kind of stole this whole look from her, sort of. But she is tons of fun and does beautiful makeup. Okay, so do you see how I'm kind of making this corner? And I'm, I'm not, I'm kind of winging it out, but I'm also, I'm not pulling my eye. I'm not doing anything. I'm just kind of letting it go naturally so that that way there's no distortion and when no matter what I'm doing my um, shadow isn't going to change. I do think it's a little low so I take a clean makeup brush and I put it in a little bit of eye makeup remover and so now I'm gonna go I'm just gonna kind of flick out just because see where you're I want to take my lower lash line I don't want my flick to be lower than my lower lash line and so sometimes when you kind of distort your face to put on your liner and then you relax if you're like me everything kind of sinks a little bit so that's why you want to do it just relaxed this revolution cut crease canvas and I hope they still have it I got this I don't know you're just flung product on my mascara so I'm gonna just it kind of looks like a concealer but it's kind of different um, and I'm gonna put it's a little tacky so I put a little on the back of my hand and I take one of my many tools that is available for me in front of me. Yes. Get yourself a bunch of cheap kind of flat concealer, you know, like synthetic bristle, flat, um, like this. Um, yeah, because you can just, they don't have, you can get e.l.f., you can get Wet n Wild, but what I like doing is I like putting them in cream products, I like putting them in products like this, so that because I don't like using my fingers or I don't like using the applicator directly from the container. It's just, I don't get the control. So what you want to do, this is the part that's fun, is you kind of slap on the product. I put it kind of in the middle of my eyelid, right over my eyeball. And then relax your eye and let the product transfer, which really goes against what I thought originally about this. But Jamie, man, that girl, she knows. Okay, so then you can see, then that's where your crease is. I used to kind of pull it up too high or pull it too low, but this way. Okay, and then what you want to do is, once you know, where to go, just pull down. Okay, now I'm not going all the way to the end because we're gonna do something with that later, right? I used this one and I put some on a brush. Uh, I mean, I put setting 
spray on a brush. Problem is, I used a brush that I thought was clean. I mean, I had cleaned it, but you guys, it still had some green shadow from, I think when I did the Artemis palette. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm just taking some setting spray. I'm putting it in this guy and then, hey Sophie, stop, leave it. She is going to town on licking herself, man. I can just hear her licking under my bed. Did you hide under my bed so you could lick yourself? <sighs> Sorry. So I love this shadow, but I gotta say, and this is no, cause my God, Jen, thank you so much again for sending me these. But I know some of you are kind of lusting after them, but honestly, if you have a Sydney Grace, which I'm actually gonna use a Sydney Grace. If you have a Sydney Grace palette, with duochromes and stuff, you might actually like it better. Okay. Speaking of Sydney Grace, I'm actually gonna just take one of those cream shadows. This is in the shade Cliff Jumping. And I'm putting a tiny dot, tiny, tiny dot. Little goes a long way. See that? I'm gonna use the same brush, it's okay. And I'm just layering Going in this shade right here with a kind of stubbly brush, I pulled this product, this product, I pulled the corner up. I don't want to mess, oh, no fallout though. Mm, a little bit of fallout, damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's okay. But then I just kind of blended you just want to meet the two, the two textures, you know? I just kind of go a little bit back and forth. And I've got a real light hand. And then I'm going to take the brush I originally used in the, um, the first shade, that kind of all over pink shade. And I'm putting it in a, just kind of a medium, I'm putting it back in the pink shade and then I'm putting it in kind of a medium shade because I just want to give myself and then I'm putting it in this shade. It's, it's, it's pretty dark, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm tapping it out and then I just want to wait. This is not the brush I used. Sorry. I did all this with the same shorter brush. I'm like, this brush is too big. Okay, I'm gonna tap it out. See, I'm just kind of tapping it out. And then I'm putting this right here just to finish that edge. Just so, kind of gives you that, that kind of carved, more sculpted look, right? And then just take a clean brush. Do you hear, everything's just dropping, dropping. Everything's dropping. And I'm just kind of, I'm not fluffing it all over. Don't mess up the glitter, you know, but I'm just kind of doing right there. See? Did I make them the same? I think I did. Okay. We're going to just take whatever's left on here, bring her down. Yeah, but I did tight line, just a smidge right here. Oh, this is fabulous. Let me put on mascara and I'll come right back. I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing the Pat McGrath mascara just because I have it, but I'm also wearing my CoverGirl um, Lash Blast Clean. Okay. Alrighty, so I am lipsticked, mascara everything. Here we go. I'll give you a close up. Okay, now 
bag for a suburban housewife in her 40s? What do you say, huh? And just think, even though you might not have the same folks around you to appreciate all this effort, but of course you can always share on Instagram and tag me, I would love to see it. But you can practice for next year, right? I mean, think of all those holiday Zoom parties. You're just gonna look amazing. Be sure to get proper lighting. Thank you so much. I hope this was fun. I hope it helped in any, any way. I, um, if I mention a channel like Jamie's, I will list it below and I will list the products I used. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Please. <laughs> Leave me a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.